Have you ever wondered how many Taiwanese items you have in your home? And what those things say about your connection to Taiwan? Well, that's what our new game, Taiwan Face Off, is all about. You've played it before. Was it fun? Yeah, I lost to Mr. Dragon <laughs> over there, so I, I still have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week we've invited two very fascinating Taiwanese Americans in Northern California to play. Welcome to another Taiwan Face Off. I'm very happy to have with me, um, right next to me, Stephanie Lin. She is the first Taiwanese American Miss Asian America, also award winning TV reporter at KCRA based in Sacramento. But you look like you're in Taipei right now. What is that behind you? Yeah, I, I have Taipei 101 behind, behind me. So uh, I wanted to get into the, the spirit of things. So uh, I, I put this up as a, as a backdrop. And I love how much Taiwanese American pride both of you have. And we also have with us the founder of TaiwaneseAmerican.org, Ho Chi Tsai, who is also a doctor by day, sometimes at night as well. Actually, I work mostly at night. I do a lot of <laughs> nighttime shifts, actually. If you guys know the rules, let me tell you just very quickly. I'm going to name off cool. one category of item, and you can bring as many that fall in that category as you want and share with us, okay? So the first thing is what we all love, Taiwanese snacks. Uh, one of those Yakult sort of uh, gummies. Uh, wow. I'm not sure if that's really Taiwanese, but you know. And then, obviously, there's the real thing. Wow. I've got... Uh, That's two points. <laughs> chocolate, does that count? From Taiwan? Sure. Boba chocolate. Boba Oba covered chocolate. chocolate. You mean the tapioca pearls are chocolate flavor? Yeah, the pearls are inside and it's covered with chocolate. It's from like the 7 Eleven in Taiwan. It's not quite snack, but wow. it's only for the pot song. Wow. <laughs> Getting ready for Dragon Boat, right? <laughs> the little ice cream bars, the boba. Oh with oh, bo boba, boba flavored with boba inside. Oh, that's great. So you're eating a lot of boba related stuff all the time, huh? Yeah, this is so bad. It's just kind of reveals how bad my uh, diet is sometimes. <laughs> that's yeah, a is that right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, awesome. I love this. This is very good. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Can you see this? And then I also have more healthy food. I have this and I have Enjoy. ramen. Mm. Ah. So that's four for uh, Stephanie and six for Ho Chi. Ooh, Yay, one. you guys are great. Now the next item is a rice cooker. Yay! Wow, that's my so rice great. cooker. Oh, that's see, that counts. That's awesome. That's okay, the next item or items are T-shirts with something related to Taiwan on it. Oh, T-shirts with something related to Taiwan. I'm sure you have. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, this I, this is gonna totally be not fair. <laughs> I only brought a small stack, and here's some of them. Wow. <laughs> that shows how much Taiwanese pride you have. It's just, it's just, it just shows how old I am and how long I've been going to Taiwanese American <laughs> community events and conferences. Well, show us some of your favorite ones. One of my favorites is still the, the I wear bubble tees design. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, oh, speaking of rice cookers, I should have even thought of this. Like One of our other past t-shirts was one with a little rice cooker design oh, on that as well. Wow. Our most popular one was the uh, stinky tofu. Oh, wow. This is great. The tofu walks alone. <laughs> Plug for my boba guys friends, but they're, I guess the only thing is Taiwanese about it is the boba guys. From 10 years ago, this is the write in Taiwanese campaign for the U.S. Census. So we want people to identify um, their heritage as Taiwanese. Uh, so that we can get counted and obviously um, um, have the recognition we deserve as a community. Uh, so and along with that comes funding. Okay, I'll give you 10 points for all those shirts. All right, yeah, there's going to be a maximum on that one. I do have a fair number of shirts that are Taiwan related. They're just back in San Jose. I'm in Sacramento right now. Um, so this is the one that I do have, which is, uh, this is actually from the Taiwanese American Cultural Festival too. The performers actually gave me this one. Okay. So one more thing for you guys to look for, a picture of you in Taiwan. For a period of time, I was a spokesperson for the Taiwanese fashion brand Melita. Uh -huh. So this is me in one of the malls. I think it's when I'm, I was in Ximending, and there's this giant, I'm staying next to a giant thing of boba. Oh, this is of you and me, Natalie. Uh <laughs> nice. you know, that was a lot of fun. You're a great right. interviewer. I'm going to give you like six points for all that, right? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take six points. I'll do it. <laughs> Extra points. So you have 12 points now. But Hoshi already has 17 points because of all those t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting up the 
best of a fight as I can. All right, I've got a couple of photos. Uh, so I was in Taiwan with my dad uh, uh, back in January of 2019. So here's one of our destinations. This is uh, at um, the Shinbeito uh, Hot Springs, one of the hotels. We went to um, the top of Ali San and uh, to watch the, the sunset. And to get there, you have to actually take the the old rail trains. Oh, that's such a cute train. Oh, that's beautiful. Ho Chi Wan. <laughs> oh, that's it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say I have an unfair ad advantage. I have like tons of Taiwanese American stuff sitting around. People send me things all the time and I collect things and I have a huge library of oh, Taiwanese wow. stuff. So wow. I, it's totally not fair to Stephanie and I admit that. <laughs> what do you guys miss most about Taiwan? Cousins, uncles, aunts. Uh, Obviously, the food is a big one, but just the, the, the ambiance, going out to the temple and you smell the incense and you see the people praying there, just scenes like that, you, you don't get that here in the U.S., and I, and I do miss that. Mm. Yeah, I, that's similar for me. I, there was that particular hour at, toward the end of the day when the sun's setting and the, it's starting to feel a little cooler and you start to get a sense that people are coming out towards the night markets and the nighttime activities, walking around, and um, for some reason that just has uh, just a, like a super nice nostalgic sort of feeling for me uh, from all the times I visited Taiwan. Great. Well, we hope you guys come back soon, and uh, thank you for promoting so much Taiwanese American pride in, in America. It's wonderful what you guys are doing. Thanks, Natalie. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Stay healthy, everybody.